<laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to things this long. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for one of my favorite Howard monkeys, Ryan Harris! <laughs> I am not his ninja. I should have peed before I came up here. I really have to pee right now. This is the truth for you guys. That's why I'm walking. You know, uh, everyone was kind of talking about God today, and it got me thinking about this story my mom told me a while ago. Uh, she, I was, I watched a really scary movie. It was, it was The Grudge. I don't know if y'all were afraid of it, but I was. That shit creeps me the fuck out. And I was scared, you know, I was kind of young, and I was like, oh shit, I don't know what's going on. My mom was like, you know what you have to do whenever you feel anything like that, you feel these evil spirits around you, you just, you just shout, you just shout God's name as loud as you can. You just say, Jehovah! <laughs> and everything will just be silent. And I was like, Duh! That's not gonna fucking answer. <laughs> oh, here I, I'll come get the grudge out of your house. <laughs> you can't just fucking call. So it work. I don't know how it works. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I smoke weed, man. It's my thing. That's what I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's awesome. It really is. But I, and I smoke a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, it, it makes you. Forgetful. If you smoke as much as I do, it makes you really, really forgetful. Like, you'll forget things that normally you wouldn't even have to remember. Like, this one time I was making a grocery list while high. I don't suggest doing this. <laughs> so I'm making this grocery list and just like, okay, every flavor of Pop Tarts, <laughs> including Strudels. <laughs> Uh, tricks, of course, tricks, duh, silly rabbit, fucking, I don't know, Doritos, oh, fucking food, 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 and then I'm, I got stuck, I had one more thing, and I'm stuck, and I needed these to make a snack, and I knew it, and I'm just like, fuck, uh, damn, what, <sighs> cigarettes too and everybody just ignores the shit out of certain general <laughs> my thing is when you smoke this illegal well this legal marijuana it feels illegal you know you take a hit of regular weed and you're just like oh yeah man that's good and it's like there's this voice in your head and he's like hanging you on to do shit he's like hey man what's up you want to go get some fucking doritos and you're like fuck yeah and it's like, you know what you should do you should make that grocery list right now bro. <laughs> This guy's, he's like, he's in my head. I know this guy's. But with spice, you know what I'm saying, you smoke it and you, you feel incredibly illegal the first hit you take. It's not a voice in your head. It's not calm. It's like the DEA, like, kicked in your door. Like, poof, get off the ground. You're going to get high right now. Take a hit of that fucking ball. And you're like, whoa, fuck, shit. What the fuck just happened? And you're all paranoid and you're like, itchy and shit. You don't know what the fuck's going on. And I'm just like, what the hell happened? Who the fuck decides to make an illegal product legal and keep all the bad side effects? That's like you making like a legal form of crack and like three days later I've like lost my family. I'm like stealing these cigars and shit. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Why would you do that? It's backwards. It's so backwards. <laughs> uh, Alright, okay. I'm gonna, okay. My dad, my dad's fucking crazy. 
like I, we, we kind of have an on and off relationship type thing. But he, and he's nuts, you know, like I don't really talk to him that much. But uh, this, this one time, I'm, he's lame. He's lame. Let me tell you how lame he is. So one time, he's drunk as shit off his ass, you know what I'm saying? He comes home at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And me and my cousin are living together, and we're hungry. We're like, yo, we're hungry. What are you going to do? We're like 14, 15. And he's like, oh, we'll, we'll just go to, to, to IHOP. Can you drive? And I'm like, no, Dad, I don't even have a fucking license. And he asked my cousin, like, can you drive? I was like, he's only a year older. Like, like no. And so we get in the car, and we drive, like, hitting curbs and medians, and I'm pretty sure, like, a dog. And we're like, we get, we get to IHOP, getting out of the car. And my, my cousin walks by the, the driver's side door, and my dad sticks his head out the window like this. Hey! Oh, no shit! <laughs> and my cousin just looks back at me. I'm still in the car. He looks back at me with like the what the fuck face. I'm like, I don't know. And, uh, so I get out of the car and he says the same thing to me. Right. I want no shit. And I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do when I hop? I'm 14. It's 2 a.m. Like, I don't want no shit either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so. The worst part was, man, he's blasting jazz at 2 in the morning. Let's know what kind of black guy he is. <laughs> and so he's blasting this jazz, and this white lady comes up, and she's partying, you know what I'm saying? It's her birthday. And she's like, William! And this is my dad, I don't know, cool, fucking seductive style. He looks at her, and he's just like, hey, cutie pie. <laughs> Cutie pie, like who the fuck are you talking to? And she's all excited. She heard. She's like, Yeah, it's my birthday! Yeah! And he's like, Yeah! He's like, from the cabbage patch. I'm like, Where are you from? Yeah! It's your birthday. It's your birthday. He's so fucking lame. The lady's like, Yeah, like fifty cent. And he's like, doesn't know who the fuck 50 is. He's blasting jazz. He's just like, ha ha ha! Who the fuck is this guy? And all the time, man, it's like 4 in the morning. He came home drunk again. But uh, there was a commotion in the house. I don't know what the fuck happened. And he, he comes and he wakes me up out of my sleep. I, I had school in the morning. And he comes and knocks on the door. And he's just like, Roy, you, you ain't hear that shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what happened? You sure? You, you ain't hear that shit, boy? No, Dad, no, I don't know. What the fuck's going on? I came home with a girl, right? You know how I do. <laughs> so I came home with a girl, and uh, we got down to business, and, you know, stuff, you know, wasn't different. And I'm just, like, waking up, and I'm like, what the fuck? Man? Dad, I don't, what? And he's like, we took our pants off, and shit wasn't opposite. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Damn, what the fuck? Are you? And he just, I guess he got tired of me, like, not knowing what, I'm from Tallahassee, you know what I'm saying? I'm a young little country boy, like, we didn't take kindly to those types for a while. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? And so he's just like, finally, he's like, shit, dick, Ryan. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, what? It turns out, brought home a tranny. I like, shit went awry, <laughs> obviously. She stole the car, he, so, so, whatever, he stole the car and crashed it in the parking lot. Like, that's the, the story. But I'm like, how the fuck do you get so drunk that you don't know what the hell is going on? Like, let me let you in on a little secret, fellas. If you're wasted drunk, and some girl comes up to you like, oh yeah, we should get out of here. She's thinking like you, man. She has a dick. <laughs> Think about it. I'm like, well, how, how does it go about? Like, are they like prowling for drunk guys? It's like picking the weakest of the herd. Like all the sober guys are like lemurs and like, oh shit, a lion. <laughs> but the drunk guy's like, I don't know, man. She's kind of cute. And you're like, Dude, she's got a mane. He's like, dude, you're thinking of horses. I'm tapping that. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't know. But moral of the story, stay sober enough to recognize lions, guys. <laughs>